back with another video another fashion friday another week has gone so hopefully everybody had a good week um let's jump right into it so i let you guys vote between color blocking and budget shopping and of course you guys choose color blocking which really isn't my thing but i did some research and came up with i think some good information that i can share with you guys we'll start with color blocking which is the method of wearing multiple solid colors in an outfit um, one thing you do want to keep in mind, it is like a mix of both colors, but they are in a similar palette. So, for example, if you're going to do neons, you'll have maybe a neon pink and you'll play off of it with the neon green. They're both bold, but they're in that same neon palette. I have some pictures I want to show you of my girl Shatira on Instagram, who is super fly. She's like my style inspo. So, she did it really good where she mixed and matched a neon green, a neon orange, and a neon pink in her shoe, which are all bold colors, but they play back and play very well off each other. And then for the second picture that I have of her, she does that same like soft neon pink with the neon green, which are two colors in a similar palette, which is neon, that play very well off each other. Another thing we do want to keep in mind with color blocking is we don't really use patterns when we color block because they do go ahead and take away of the whole block theme. So there is a such thing as mixing and matching patterns, which I can go further into in another video if you guys want, comment and let me know. But when we think of color blocking, it really is just those bold colors that kind of play off each other that create a whole story and a whole look. So no patterns, don't do it, don't try it, it's enough, don't do it. <laughs> So I think you guys got the gist of color block and now we're going to jump into my favorite monochromatic which is containing or using only one color um, and creating a whole story and a whole look with that. So that could be from a pastel blue to a bold or a darker blue. That could be from a pastel pink to a hot pink. You can pair those together to create your own story down to the shoes, which I always think is fun. Seeing somebody in one color but having different hues of that color and different textures to play with is always, 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 always super fun. You can do a rouge fabric with a satin fabric to create your story all in that one color scheme. So of course I had to add some photos of myself in here giving y'all monochromatic realness. <laughs> but you'll see a look of me in all pink, which is a bolder pink at the top, a lighter pink at the bottom. And then you'll see me in a purple look giving you a lighter purple at the top and a darker purple at the bottom. Both are giving you contrast because I'm going from dark to light or light to pink. And it also gives you show shape. It shows different, so many different things. And it also just tells a story, which is like super, super fun. And just with fall, spring, summer, you can use color blocking. You can use monochromatic as well to just create these different stories and create fun looks and mix and match those colors. It's all about knowing what palettes work together for color blocking. And then also with monochromatic, it's all about knowing which shades and how to pair those shades together, which is super fun. Next week, we'll talk about budget and shopping. Comment what you like. Tell me what else you want to talk about. And we'll get into that as well. Fashion Fridays. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.